I'm Hannah Bartlett and I'm the Optometry Admissions Tutor here at Aston and I'm here with two current undergraduate students, Angela and Natasha and we're going to have a brief discussion today about um, how people interested in studying optometry in Canada um, can successfully study at Aston and go back and work as optometrists in Canada. It might be helpful to just start by talking about your experiences of applying to um, UK optometry and um, why you decided to come and study in the UK. Um, so I had originally planned to go to the University of Waterloo for my optometry degree, but of course it is very competitive, difficult to get into. When I looked at the different options, I could have gone to um, the States, Australia or England. And there wasn't a lot of information about Australia or England, so I had to do a lot of the research myself. And when I looked into it, um, England had great options and the cost was a lot less. The application process was a lot more simple. Um, so I just applied and kind of saw where I would get in, which was great because I got in everywhere I did apply in England. And then I just went from there. Aston has an, an amazing reputation back in Canada and is the number one optometry school in the UK. And just to add to that, um, the application process itself was very inexpensive compared to um, the application process in Canada and in the States. Um, and the, the application was super, super easy. I was able to, to do it in minimal time. So with my experience, I, I applied, waited to see if I got in, and then I did my research and I chose Aston. Some of the um, uh, people thinking about coming to study in the UK um, get a bit confused about the differences in the qualifications that UK applicants need to have and the qualifications that um, maybe people who study optometry in Canada would be expected to have. Um, so it might be useful for me just to provide a brief overview of that in that in the UK um, students study GCSE exams at the age of 16 and then they go on to do their A levels normally three or four A level subjects at the age of 18 and that at that point they're eligible to apply for any degree program so that could be optometry or dentistry law um, even medicine in the UK students or applicants aren't expected to have an undergraduate degree they go straight into their degree of choice um, and I think that's a little bit different to the experience in in Canada um, I don't know if you want to sure. comment on that um, so in in Canada I'm sure you all know to get into optometry you have to have a three at least, at least three year undergraduate program in science mm -hmm. we think <laughs> and um, and then you apply to your postgrad optometry we are considered undergraduate students here but medicine students are undergrad, dentistry, law, they're all undergrad students. So the way that it works for um, the bridging program is you need to have uh, at least a three-year undergraduate program in Canada. You have to come here, do the four years optometry, three years study, one year pre-reg, and then you can go back to do your bridging program and then write your boards and then you become the doctor of optometry. And I'll let Natasha explain a little bit more about the bridging program. Thank you. So in order to go into the bridging program, you have to write what's called the prior learning assessment after your degree at Aston Optometry. Um, based on that, you can be placed into either a two month program or a one year program, um, depending on how you do. And from what I've heard, if you go to Aston for optometry, you get enough of a knowledge base that you will most likely be accepted into the two-month program rather than the one year. So that's great news. Um, once you do that program, you can write the Canadian boards and then become, as Angela said, a doctor of optometry in Canada, and you can practice anywhere. So... Um I've had a few queries about the difference between the BSc optometry and the Masters of Optometry that we offer here at Aston. And I'm sure you're aware, but I will explain. Um, so the BSc is the traditional long-standing route um, through to be, become a qualified optometrist in the UK. And um, on, the, on the BSc programme, students study for three years here at Aston. They graduate and they have to achieve at least 50% and then they're allowed to go into their pre-registration period. 
The pre-registration period takes place away from the university, anywhere in the UK, within an optometric practice. And students will have a qualified optometrist who acts as their supervisor during that um, period. Um, students are paid. So it's the fourth year of training, but it's paid. And uh, during that year, students have to sit and pass the exams set by the College of Optometrists. Once those exams have been passed, then um, students can apply to be registered with the General Optical Council. And once registered, they're eligible to practice in the UK. And um, at that point, then if students have done their three years of undergraduate in Canada, then they would be able to apply for entry to the um, bridging programme at the University of Waterloo. Um, so the key thing really is that um, students don't have to decide on application whether they definitely want to do the BSc or the MOPTOM. Um, whichever course students apply for, um, it is possible to transfer between the two as long as the students are reaching the required standard um, and they would just need to go on to the UCAS system um, and either apply for the BSc or the MOPTOM at Aston and then um, would have the opportunity to change their minds during the programme. For students wanting to go back and study in Canada the MOPTOM has some advantages. One is that um, students don't need to apply for a separate work visa for their fourth year of study, the, the pre-registration period. Um, and the second one is that within that fourth year there is an ocular therapeutics module which um, helps Canadian students prepare for work in Canada as well. So I might pass over to you guys now just to talk about the UCAS system and maybe your experiences of, of that briefly. So going on to the UCAS system, it is very similar to OptomCAS for those of you who have applied to the States or looked into that. Um, and basically you have one application where you submit to five different schools. I think that's the maximum number, yeah. And you just submit your application and they respond to you via UCAS. So it's a very simplified system. Um, it gets everything done for you. And it's very similar to OptomCast in that you have to write your personal statement essay, you have to input your grades and upload your transcripts and everything like that. And um, we tend to prefer, when it comes to references on the UCAS system, we tend to want really your, your primary reference to be from an academic um, source. So one of your teachers or tutors or professors um, is really the best person to ask for the reference. So when you've um, made your application through UCAS, your um, application will come through to our admissions team here at Aston University. And um, we will look at your your um, uh, qualifications and your personal statement and your references and um, decide whether or not to make you an offer and there are two types of offer that we tend to make um, the most common type of offer is a conditional offer and what that means is that we will ask you to achieve a certain level in your next set of exams whether that's your high school exams or your undergraduate degree exams um, and if you achieve that then um, you meet the terms of the offer and you will be offered a place if you want it. Um, the less common uh, type of offer is an unconditional offer. So that means that whatever you've applied to us with is already enough for us to offer you a place. So you don't need to do anything more. Um, those kind of unconditional offers are more common with our international applicants because often um, people might be doing an undergraduate degree but already have met the requirements in their high school exams for example um, so that kind of applicant might be made an, un an unconditional offer um, but obviously if you have any queries if applicants have any queries about the um, application process or the information that they've been sent in response to their application then they can just email at the admissions team here at Aston. If you have any more questions at all, you can go to um, Aston's website and click on Prospective Students. There's a lot of information there about campus, accommodation, visa inquiries, and a lot of other things you might have queries about. We've also recently set up um, an Aston Optometry Applicants Facebook page, and um, you can 
like this page to find out all kinds of information about what's going on in the department and uh, what's going on generally in optometry in the UK. And also you have the opportunity to post questions on that page as well that will be answered by our um, undergraduate students who are trained as Facebook mentors.